things that might be out there. Yeah. See if you can direct him out wider around some of those things. Okay. It means you're going to like shape his behavior, which means you have to walk into him to get him to do that. You're going to walk straight into his head. You need to move him out. If you walk to the side of him, he'll just move off of you. There, like that. Good. You don't have to get the cone. Just wherever it's moving. You're more interested in his, in his demeanor and uh, his smoothness and quietness. See, like right there, he, he tightens his body to go fast. That would be like if I told you, tighten your fist and now try to be graceful. You can't. You, your hand opens up, you can be graceful. So you're interested in a nice, soft body. So anything he does with a soft body, it's like, good, oh, that's good. Direction is really secondary. Good. They're softer, easier. Sheep like that stuff. As soon as it quickens, you see them tighten. Okay, now I want you to bring him to a stop, but don't use a stop command. Just have him to prepare him to be caught and then go up and catch him. Good blocking. You know, the fact that he's he's unwilling to be caught tells you basically he hasn't he hasn't really learned to give the pressure completely. Because you're getting opposition reflex by and that. And his eyes are never looking at me. Yeah, correct. Where he, he looked at you. Yeah, he's, he hasn't turned himself over to you completely, which basically means, yeah, he's real biddable to a point until you decide to take the sheep away from him, and then it's like, he's a, no, 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 we're not going to do that. <laughs> this is why we're here, Judy. George can explain the behaviors better than anyone I know. I just look at the behavior, but I can explain it. See, like today I was telling Dan about um, the likelihood of getting certain responses. And I said, it's kind of like, I said, Dan, it's like when you were 16 years old and you were in high school and you are in math class and the cheerleaders were practicing. You weren't going to be doing much math. <laughs> And he knew exactly what I meant. <laughs> I also teach middle school. Uh -huh. I'm not getting any focus on me at all. Yeah, and see, what you got to do is keep cutting it off. So the more, the more anxious he gets about being caught, he'll relieve himself by moving his feet. So he's always going to move his feet but you have to be in control of him. So if he circles, he's better. But if you can cut him off, cut him off, cut him off, cut him off, and funnel him down to something, then you got it. Now, the quicker you move the whip, the faster he's going to go, okay. too. So you have to smooth everything out. And actually, the longer it takes you to do it, the better off you're going to be because he's still not getting what he wants. He's going to be tired tonight. Well, you will too. <laughs> You'll feel it in your hip. <laughs> now your goal should be prepare him to be caught, not catch him. So to prepare him to be caught, he's got to stop his feet. So if you get out and there, and there's a stop. There was a momentary stop. And there's a momentary stop. There. Oh, there. Good. Good. <laughs> Keep turning. Because the more he runs in a circle, it's like it resets his meter. That's how he will relieve himself. And just hang with it. Hang with it. Good. Almost got him. Nope. Hang with it. Just block. Just block. Don't be so anxious to catch. Yes. Just Move stop his flatter. feet. The longer you can stop his feet, the more willing he is to be caught. So he wants to start him again as he gets anxious.
Touched him with the stick initially, he kind of shut down a little bit. Good. Every time you turn him back and don't let him Good. complete the circle. You know, you bet this is why sometimes with a dog that's got a lot of go, I'll just teach that'll do first, right off the bat. Because if I can stop him, yeah. I got everything else in between. He learned to move off the pressure in between while I was teaching it. Well, like you say, there's no question that they want to work. There's not a question about directionality, yeah. but this is just those other pieces. I, yeah, and once he learns that you owe his feet, and you can stop him at will, then he pretty much says, all right, what do you want? So I'm you're tapping more and more, Judy. Good. You're getting more and more. looking at me. That's yeah. okay. Just concentrate on stopping the speed. But you're, you're still thinking that you're still being a little goal oriented and thinking about I need to catch it. Just stop the speed. Just make it stand still. 